Today, we start a whole new build on a Pico tank. Well, it brings a whole new word to Pico. What's going on, reefers? My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. If you guys are stopping in this week, I wanna say thank you so much for checking out the video. In this week's upload, we're gonna be starting a new build series. It's gonna be on a Pico tank I'm starting. Well, it's not really a Pico tank. It's actually a miniature tank, and it's really cool, and I'm excited to show you guys with that being said, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, you like what you see, you think these videos are pretty cool, and you like the other videos I've made so far, why don't you guys subscribe to the channel, join the family, and join my adventure on reefing. So with that being said, this week I'm starting a new build series with a mini complete tank. So this is a miniature complete tank. So this is a crazy small little tank that is something all, and it's really cool. So. We're gonna get right into it guys. We're gonna unbox it, show you guys what you get out of it, and we're gonna set this thing up and talk a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing for stocking. So thanks again guys for stopping by and let's get into it. All right guys, so we have the mini complete tank here and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing opened up and check it out. So what looks like to be the mini complete tank little tank holder that's pretty cool little bamboo holder right here attached on the side this looks like what's going to be oh i don't know this is the heater so it's a super super thin heater you guys can see right here really cool kind of tiny little heater that's gonna go in the sump area i'm sure instructions Really nice packaging here, so that's nice to know because of how far it came. All right, all the bubble wraps off, and let's go ahead and get into the box. So here's the box right here, mini complete tank. So it has a little welcome message right here. Oh my gosh, look at how cool this thing is. So. Here's what is the stand, and right next to it, this looks like what is the tank itself. So here is the setup, what it's gonna be, most likely. That is crazy cool, it is so small. I'll move this away, set that down for you guys. <clears throat> so here is what it ended up coming with. A few moments later. All right guys, now that we got the mini tank complete, all taken out and out of the box, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So I got my light here, I got the pump, I got the baffle system all set, ready to go. I pre-soaked them in water so I could peel off the plastic a little bit easier. That was a tip that they had on their website, so thanks for that. Also, one other thing too, if Mini Complete or anyone else can reach out to me about how they utilize the heater, I can't seem to figure out how to make it work because in the sump, it's gonna be too big for the baffles. And that being said, I'm not totally sure what I'm supposed to do. So if anyone knows what they did or how they made this heater in particular work, let me know so I can get it integrated. That being said, let's go ahead and start setting up the sump. So we're gonna go ahead and put these baffles in first. All right, so those are both in there. We'll go ahead and put the pump in next. So the pump's gonna go in this corner right here. Got that all situated. So that way the cord can run out. And then there's this filter media that we can start putting in. There's this one right here. Then there's the filter floss. That media right there. And then I believe that's it for inside the sump. Then we'll go ahead and start working on getting the other baffling system put into the tank. So there's this small piece right up here. That is the baffling system right there. You got the two pieces that connected over here, the one with the small slot on the bottom, 
and then the longer piece here, and then there's the top graded piece that's gonna be where your return pump's coming in from. Go ahead, plug her back in right there. Put the top on. Set up the light. Put that thing on the stand. You got yourself a mini complete tank. Go ahead, check it out guys. Pretty sweet. I'm really excited to get this thing all set up. We'll go ahead and start putting in some sand, some substrate, and let's go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. All right, now that I have the tank set up how I want it in the sump, I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in it. I'm gonna get the tank in there, get that filled up, and then let's go ahead and see how this thing actually works. So here we go with some of my water here. Salt water I've already had pre-made. Go ahead and pour that in. Oh boy. This is the one thing that I've noticed that's kind of tough with working with these tanks is that they don't want to fit inside their stands. They have stands that are somewhat warped. I'll post a picture up top. You can see, of course, they should be able to kind of slide their way in just like that. And okay, we're all hooked up, so we're set there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water into the tank. I may have put too much water in, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Put this up top, get, uh, get that all set. The filter plugs directly into the light, which is pretty slick, so you only will have, you know, one thing running off of this. And then let's go ahead and see this thing turned on. And it looks like we're running. And there's the mini complete tank, guys. The sump's pushing water. Um, you can see there's flow going on. Now I'm getting some water flowing in from the overflow. Yeah, it's looking good, though. This is super cool. What a fun little thing. 10 seconds later. All right, guys, so we took some of the water out so we can start our scape. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some sand from my mangrove tank. So this is established sand already. So it's going to bring beneficial bacteria immediately into the tank. So that's going to really help with the cycle. And then I have a couple pieces of Carib Sea Rock super cute so i'm gonna be making a little scape out of them i just wanted to get at least a couple pieces of rock in there so i can start to cycle on them and get this tank running so let's go ahead and get into the scape It's gonna be kind of hard to see my rockscape because of the sand that just got all kicked up, but we'll go ahead and get it all figured out. And just like that, we have a mini complete tank set up. Kind of hard to see right now, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and once it clears up, I'll show you guys. All right guys, the mini tank complete scape is completely done. And man, I'm super excited about it. I think this is a really fun thing to do. I ended up just grabbing a couple pieces of dry rock, chiseling off a couple little sections and using that for my scape. The sand itself came from my mangrove tank, so it came with a little bit of beneficial bacteria already. And who knows, maybe I snagged a copepod or something and added a little bit of microfauna. So we'll see. But overall, I'm really excited about this little tank. So I really like this first lighting setting, and I think it brings probably the most kind of 
cool vibe to it. I think the other lighting's a little too much, but I think this lower setting may be what I'm gonna shoot for. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna be doing stock-wise, but it's gonna be fun developing a little stock list for this tank. But for right now, let's go ahead and get it in its resting spot and talk to you guys more about how I feel about the mini tank complete. All right, reefers, that's it for this week. I'm really excited to get the mini complete tank stocked. Also, I'm not sponsored at all by these guys, but I did really enjoy their product and I wanted to make a video about it. Also, it is a little build series, so I wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below to their website. Thanks again, Mini Complete Tank. Also, the help on Instagram when I DM'd you guys about some questions. You guys were really helpful, so I appreciate that. With that being said, guys, thanks again for stopping in for this week's upload. Hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a comment down below what you guys think I should stock with this tank. I'm thinking some macroalgae and some sexy shrimp, but we'll see. But thanks again, guys. Hope to see you guys next week.